Hey, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is what is going on on Wednesday. <laughs> GKK Live. I'm Kristen with Good Knit Kisses. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're catching me on the replay, thank you so much. It's no longer live, but you're welcome to respond as it is such. <laughs> if you have a question on the replay, be sure and write replay and write your question to get some attention from me or my one of my admins, Carol or Joanne. Thank you so much to our dedicated and loyal, loving admins um, who keep GKK running. I'm so glad that you guys are here. Thanks for joining me live. Uh, be sure and tell me where you're from. And um, you guys, uh, let me know. Have you been enjoying these little quizzes we're having to kind of see what uh, what your likes are and um, your preferences and stuff. I think it's kind of fun little quizzes that we started doing. So um, anyway, I hope you hope you like that. Uh, today is um, is the day that I kind of show you what's going on with me, what's um, what's up, what we're doing. Um, Monday is Q and A day at nine a.m. Central Standard Time, and uh, which is uh, ten Eastern. And then Wednesday is uh, when I'm kind of telling you what's going on with GKK and uh, other events and news. So. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so glad you're here. Hey, welcome, Lori. Good morning. She's in Wisconsin. So glad you're here. Hi, Heather. I'm glad you're here, too. Hi, Kasid. All the way from rainy Wyoming. Oh, I hope it's a good rain, like a good nourishing rain, not like a, like a, ah. <laughs> but good for your, your flowers and, and uh, garden. And are you growing anything? Anybody growing anything? So we have kind of a low number jumping on. The other day I noticed that whenever I have a low number jumping on <laughs> the call, well, I say the call, um, our live broadcast um, means that it, Facebook is being glitchy and not letting people know. So I'm just kind of kind of talk for a few minutes until we get people on. Uh, so I'm so glad you're here. Be sure and um, kind of just uh, chat with me a little bit. I'm I'm here and I'm live and uh, anyway. We are work looking at the lookbook today, and this is brand new. It came out um, yesterday, went live with Yarnspirations. If you don't know, every month a Yarnspirations lookbook comes out, and it shows um, different yarns and um, usually has a theme to it. And uh, I love these themes that they run. And uh, try and be creative with that, and also that the yarn is chosen. Um, it may be new yarn. It may be one that's um, it's been trucking on the long in the line for a while, and they freshen up the colors. And uh, that's always fun to see new stuff um, refreshed. And um, anyway, I want to say hello to a few more people while we have people jumping on. Hey, Robin. Good morning. And uh, oh, Cassie, do you have a black thumb and you can't grow anything? Um, I, I can be like that. I have to really like pay attention. And, um, if I get absent minded about it at all, it just is not good. So I have to pick, I have to pick good plants or have someone help me. <laughs> My grandmother was so good at it. Um, we're doing pretty good with the little potato in the backyard though, right now. <laughs> and with some rose bushes are doing pretty good. I did a pretty good job pruning. <laughs> Um, but they were there. They were pretty established when we got here. <laughs> uh, hey, Eva, good morning. She's in Ohio. Hey, I was in Ohio. I can finally now put that on the list that I have been to Ohio. <laughs> Just came back from there Saturday <laughs> from Cleveland. Didn't spend too much time hanging out. We went to this place called 56 Kitchen. Um, not in Cleveland, but outside. It's like, so there's an S. Anyway, it was good. Oh my gosh. I had this burger. It had like a crab infused butter in it. It was like, what? It was so good. Um, Heather, we found a place to live in New York. Yay! That's great. So you are not worried as much. Well, you, you're you moving, so you're you're dealing with all that. So I, I wish you the best. I think you said you're moving in two months. Anyway, good morning, Ellie. Good morning, good morning. Hi, Bridget Marie. Hi, Chris. I see you just jumped on. Oh, Robin, resilient plants. So definitely great house plants or landscaping. Uh, yeah, like plastic ones. I never recommend planting plastic plants outdoors, though. I've seen people do, I've seen people do it, but they get like real 
kind of crazy looking. Uh, hey, Susan. Hi, Brandy. My friend, Brandy. Brandy, I cannot wait for Pink Impact. Ah! We're going to be roomies and I get to meet three of her friends. It's going to be fun. I feel like I'm going to camp. Um, so if you don't know, I'm going to this thing called Pink Impact. I will not um, be missing a live broadcast, and I will be having a video come up this Friday, but I will be, like, out of pocket. So if you see anything from Good Knit Kisses, it's going to be published by um, Joanne or by Carol um, or something I previously approved to come out. So <laughs> um, Thursday night through Saturday morning, I'll be gone to Pink Impact. Woo woo! <laughs> it's a women's conference, and it's in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. So, um, anyway, I'll be doing that, but this Friday has stuff coming out. So I'm going to show you guys a lookbook now that we have more people jumped on here. Um, let me, um, oh my gosh, I haven't had my shake yet. So hold on. Mm. My breakfast, Joanne, I'm eating breakfast. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to get my, trying to get the lookbook back to page one. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. Chris says plastic indoors. If you have cats. I love house plants, but my cats think I have them for their dining pleasure. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. Yeah, cats are man. I don't know. I haven't ever had a cat, and they seem like, yeah, that yeah. I think I, I would have to probably cat proof the house. <laughs> they love to have fun, don't they? <laughs> the videos with cats are hysterical. I'm just not sure I could deal. I well, my husband couldn't deal because he's allergic. So that's the reason for no cats. Um, but my my kids want want a kitty cat, and they <laughs> they would love one. <laughs> so I'm not sure uh, I would enjoy uh, that. I would be closing off my yarn room all the time. So anyway. Oh, Carol's on now. Yay. Hi, Carol. Okay, I'm going to flip the screen, and we're going to talk about it um, here in a second. Okay, so has anybody seen the lookbook real quick before I get started? Do you guys know the theme this month? The theme is outdoors. Yay! Outdoors. And we can make some things for outdoors that is nice and fun and festive and get you ready for summer now. We do have friends across the world who join us on GKK, and our Australian friends are in winter, or the beginnings of winter, or something like that. So, not to be insensitive, but we're going to be talking about the seasons in North America here. <laughs> so, um, at least it's cooling off for you, maybe, um, and not 115, which it'll be that way in um, August for me, <laughs> so... Yikes. Uh, but I'm in Texas, <laughs> so I identify. Uh, anyway, so we have got um, the outdoor stuff. I want to show it to you and let you know what's going on, what's coming up, and what I'm going to be doing. And um, let's get started here, okay? All right, let me flip this. Do, 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 and flip. All right. Let me get zoom on in here. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, let me just turn this light off. Boop. Okay, so, yeah, they'll have to do it for summer. Um, oh, there's my, you know what? Let's tilt that. Let's do that. Okay, so this is my outdoor living. Um, this is a lookbook, and on my iPad it does. I wish I had like the Pro, but I'm cheap like that. <laughs> so this is like this is like a Gen two iPad. <laughs> so I'm looking at it on the Yarn Inspirations website. Um, if you go to their website um, and you go up to yarnspirations.com, you can click on lookbooks. And then you'll see a ton of lookbooks, and then you click on Outdoor Living, which is this one. And this is the May um, 2017 lookbook, 12 new patterns for your patio dreams. And so you just kind of swipe, and then it opens up like a book. Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh, I just think it's fun. Okay, so you've got your table of contents here, and I'm trying to get it to where... It fits in my screen a little bit better. Let's see if I can. I don't know why. Why is it not fitting to my screen? Okay. All right. Well, anyway, I can't see this, but it's because I'm on. Oh, how do I? How do I make it? 
Okay. There we go. Okay, so anyway, it shows you the different names of the patterns, and you can actually click on it and go directly to it. Um, <coughs> I don't know why it doesn't work on my iPad as well, but it works really well on a desktop and laptop. Laptop. Um, anyway, so you can um, click on all those, and then you can go directly to the yarns and the shades and then the pattern information. But I'm going to slip on through here to the different um, pages. Um, I am when it lets me do it. Here we go. Now we go. Okay. So this is the knit, uh, this is a knit textured blanket and it is, here's the, um, look at that pattern. Isn't that pretty? So yeah, I love this and it has this really cool little texture, um, to where the, um, the knit columns pop out and I'm going to click on the picture that I like. And what happens is it jumps to the page with it, um, and see how it goes directly to the pattern. Yeah. So if you touch directly on it, it'll, it'll go to that page. And so it's taking me to this blanket pattern and it even shows you this picture. So if you click on the picture, see that's the one that was on the page. And I really want you to know how to navigate these things because they're, um, you can find, that's how, you, this is how you, you get the answer. Like, why do I find the, how do I find the pattern? How do I find the yarn? So you scroll all the way down here and it shows you for contrast A and you pick this and it shows you that it takes eight balls. Like it automatically programs it and you can even like change the color. You just click change and you pick it. So this is what it is there. So that way, like it takes the guesswork out. It's really cool. So step one, pick your size and version. Uh, step two, choose your colors. So um, like if you were doing something that had a contrast A and B and C, um, it would pick the colors that were on the contrast A, B, and C and put them down below and load it for you so you can purchase them on the website. Um, or you could just go and hit free download. Maybe you're like, I've already got the yarn. Um, or I'm going to go and um, print this off and go pick. I want to see the yarn in the store. So you do that. Anyway, so we're going to click download pattern. And then it comes right to the pattern. Now, if you're on an iPad, um, you can click on it one more time lightly. And it says open in iBooks. And then it brings it into like a, a different PDF reader. So it doesn't like hang out on this page. And then you can like save it and print it. Um, on other tablets, I don't know because I don't own one. Hey, if someone wanted to buy me one, then I will definitely demo stuff on it. <laughs> but, uh, so I don't have the answer. So anyway, this is an easy pattern. And then they go through all of that, um, what you need. This one uses the Bernat Maker Home Deck. And man, I have been working on this for two of my projects. I'm going to be working on two projects here in May that feature that yarn. And I'm really liking it. Oh my gosh, I had not used it before. And um, really, really enjoying it. So let's see if I can flip to the next page here. Um, let me go back and read. Let me see if there's anything you guys had questions on while I'm, I don't want to skip right over you. Um, yeah, they can make ahead for summer, Chris. That's a great idea, that Ada, too. Um, oh, gosh, we are in rain and flood mode. <laughs> Katie Ann says, oh, my word. Well, uh, hopefully you've got all your stuff and you can just knit away while you sit there and watch the rain. Maybe it's a, hopefully it, it feels good and nice and stuff. Um, let's see, won't fit to my drawer tab either. Great to know, Ellie. I mean, I don't like that. You love the pillows, Ada? Oh, awesome. Okay. We'll have to get look at those. The throw, the placemats, the mosaic table runner, all my favorites. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So this one right here, this is beautiful. This flower power crochet table runner. Um, I love this. I, I love that. It's like taking an old style of like, like these doilies and stuff and all the color placement on here is so fresh and nice. I mean, this is awesome. And I'm just zooming around. Okay. This is awesome. And see that picture right here. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Cause I'm not able to move around, but maybe I can see that. Isn't that pretty? I love it. And then they've got my very favorite chartreuse color here. Isn't that gorgeous? And then this pretty aqua, you got kind of a coral color here and the purple. I mean, that's brilliant. I love it. So this is the Lily Sugar and Cream. So you can wash away. This is a, a cotton. Um, they're using the colors they're showing here. It's in um, jute, ecru, lilac. Wow, it just turned the page. Sorry. Um, country red, sea breeze, tangerine. That's that coral color. Um, country yellow and hot green. Okay, 
well, I call it chartreuse, but they're calling it hot green. <laughs> I have some of that here and I could show it. I can show it to you. They're stunning. Absolutely. I agree, Crystal. Um, very cool. Um, Eva, this particular one is not loom knit, um, but uh, the different knit stuff can be used um, in looming. I'm turning the page. Let me get me a sip of my drink here. Hold on. Study the beautiful photograph here. Okay, so these, look at this. Look at this table setting. Look at these round placemats. Aren't they cute? I love the contrast. This bright, fun plate. I mean, whether it's a paper plate or a um, a, a china plate, um, you know, pottery. And then I love this up here. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is not a pattern, but this is simple to do. Look at this. Isn't this fun? Who wants to make a party with this? Tassels and pom-poms. Dude, you could make this with the pom-pom maker that I was showing. Okay, the pom-pom tassel maker, absolutely do that with those. That What a great way to use your scraps. Make it for a party. Man, I, you know what? I'm thinking, what if I did Bernat um, deck because it's like washable and stuff? Maybe I could do that and hang that um, in my um, new covered patio, this new house I'm at. Yeah, and string it next to lights. Wouldn't that be... Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm, I I got all kinds of ideas going on. I mean, I've seen this picture before, but that just like occurred to me. I'm like, oh, I could totally do this. So look at these cute little pillows they've got here, little pillows back here, and they've, they're they just combining all their colors. And oh, what's this? What's that? It looks like a knit pillow. It's a knit cushion. Okay, look at this one. This is the placemat. Isn't that cute? It's a crochet one. Isn't that sweet? Crochet. I'm not doing that. No worries. No crochet from me this month. <laughs> Although I love crochet. Mikey has got some things going on. I wish I had the schedule in front of me. I do know that there are going to be patterns um, every week from Yarn Inspirations. If you are not signed up for Yarn Inspirations, um, uh, YouTube channel be sure and do that because they're having um, videos come out every Tuesday I believe and so be sure and check out their channel okay and um, and chat on there and say Kristen told me to come here like give them a comment do it <laughs> let them know I sent you they'll be excited so this one's called sundial crochet placemats and this is in Bernat maker home deck um, this is black and clay and it falls in the easy category let's flip and go here Okay, now take a look at these. Okay, now, if you like to crochet and you, you want to see this pattern and you can't wait, I had a perfect idea for Mother's Day about this. Now, so you'd have to do it like this week, okay? So look at these crochet mason jar cozies. This is Lily Sugars and Cream. Uh, sugar and Cream is jute, sage, green, indigo, but whatever color it is, find your mom's favorite color. What about, okay, so look at these crochet mason jars. What about a jar that has the closable lid on them and make it into like a memory or an encouragement jar, like words of your mother that um, remind you of her or like memories of her and fill the jar and ask your siblings or whoever is alive and who loves her and write their name on the back and fill the jar and give it to her. And you can even like fill it whenever you're around, right? Wouldn't that be cool? And just like keep, maybe make a short one that goes next to it that has like paper and little bitty short pencils. Like, you know, you go to like putt-putt golf or something with little short pencils. What do you think about that for your mom, right? You could even do like three and do one for flowers, right? Um, do one with flowers, one with all the, uh, all the um, notes of uh, affirmation and stuff, and then like a little pencil cup, right? That would be sweet, right? I'd probably do some, um, her favorite, like a trio of her favorite colors, or all three in the same. I mean, this color would be nice. This little, oh, you can't see it. This is aqua. So, and then look at that outside. It's just brilliant. I mean, and then you can do, you know, you can put whatever in here. I mean, these would be a good little jar just for keeping your supplies. I mean, you could put your crochet hooks in here and your other notions and stuff and um, your needles in, going in here. So this would be a good little trio in your, um, craft spot. Okay, now I'm going to flip. Oh, look at this. This is a mosaic knit table runner. I mean, look at that. 
Now they're showing this outdoors. This could totally be inside, of course. But isn't that fun? That's so fun. And I'll tell you what, I already know that they're making a video of this. So I'm not doing the video on this. But look, oh, there's that cushion again. Look, there's that cushion. I see it peeking through. And it pulls in the accent there. Isn't that sweet? Okay, here's the pattern. Let me see if we can zoom on here. Isn't that nice? That's a so, I love that. Love that color stranding. So that is the Mosaic Knit Table Runner. If you want to catch the pattern for it and start looking at your supplies, if you're interested in that. And why is this not zooming out? This does fall in the intermediate. Okay. Come on, silly. Okay, here we go. Swiping. Crochet outdoor mat. Okay, check this out. Now this is with, this is, I have not used this yet. I would actually like to get my hands on this. And But this is um, Fintex Slipper and Craft Yarn. And this is an aqua and cream. So they're making this into a mat. So let's move over here. And then you can really see the stitch detail here. Isn't that fun? And this matches the um, home deck colors, it looks like. So um, this is the um, logo here. See this one? That's that's the logo. And then here's the mat. And let's let's click on let's click on this and get to the pattern. Let's see if it'll let me click on it. There we go. Let's go. I'm gonna go through and look at your comments real quick. Thank you for the link to their YouTube channel, Carol. Love on your mom while she's still here, ladies, Chris says. Yours passed away too young. I'm so sorry, Chris. That's that's some really good advice. Katie, Katie Ann says she's doing a, um, a spa set with the cotton. That's great. You love that mosaic? Oh, awesome. Okay, so here we go. Here's the um, Fentex Crochet Outdoor Mat. Here's the pattern. It goes into the easy. Let's scroll down and see. Okay, so see how when you have a contrast A and B, it's showing it down here, and it go ahead, it goes ahead and automatically puts it in. Oh, they're only two ninety nine each. Okay, look, and this is um, they put three balls of each color, and uh, this page is still loading. Sorry, it's taking just a minute, but it shows you that they're using the Bernat um, uh, Fentex Slipper and Craft yarn by Bernat. It's Aqua, and then they have the cream one. And then they're actually also showing you um, what hook size you need. So that's really cool. So if you needed another one and your cat carried away, it <laughs> got sucked into the, the uh, couch vortex. Um, it, this is a boy hook, um, six inch. It's a 10 and a half, a K 10 and a half or six and a half millimeter. And uh, you can also change it too. Um, and you don't have to get it either. You can just type zero. But um, I love that they do this. It's just so cool. I mean, I love when things like get auto populated for me. <laughs> it makes it so much easier for me. I don't have to hunt and peck. And then I can just hit change and change the colors. Um, love that. Um, okay, so I don't know why it's taking so long. Hold on. Let me scroll down. I was going to try and find. Okay, I'm going to click on the yarn. Let's find out more information about this yarn. And I haven't, I actually haven't done this. I wanted to see what how it worked live with you guys just to check this out. So now I've clicked on the yarn. So if I want to know more about what I just saw, click the yarn down here. This is on the same page as the pattern. And it's showing that it's um, available in a wide uh, rainbow of colors. Um, the Fintech slip, uh, Slipper and Craft Yarn is long wearing worsted weight yarn. It's 100% olefin. And it's 164 yards in a ball. It's a 85 gram ball. It's machine wash and dryable, and it's a four medium worsted weight yarn. Um, and it's got the gauge on here and used for knit and crochet household products. So, um, Olefin is going to be long, uh, longer lasting um, and wearing. Um, I will tell you um, that. Um, a crochet mat just for wiping your feet on is probably okay, um, but if it has a lot of friction, like like a whole lot of friction on it, um, it can get matte and worn down. Um, because I was in the floor covering industry, 
um, it has a, um, I believe it has a lower um, melting temperature. So um, for a mat at the door, it's fine. Probably not as a, like a long runner. Um, so I wouldn't create a whole rug out of it. Um, but that's, that's my own personal thing. That's not a yarn inspiration is telling you that's a me. That's a Kristen telling you that. Um, what else do I want to show you? Let's go back to the lookbook real quick. That page just was not loading well. But it looks so cute and dynamic. I mean, right underneath this little bench here. I mean, isn't that fun? And then, like, right outside your door. Um, it's a, a great little thing. You could probably put that right outside your um, your shower. Um, hey, it'd be cool if you had an outdoor shower, but you can put it out in your shower at home. All right, let's flip that. And then you could throw it in the wash, right? So we want, we want stuff we can throw into the wash really well. Um, okay, look at this table. Okay, here's another tablescape. And now we've changed out the placemat. And now instead of a round plate with the round, um, the round uh, placemat underneath, now we have an even bigger plate and we've got a rectangular placemat. And they got their cute little mason jar cups and stuff and changed out their pillows for a whole new design. And oh, there's those same little, the same little cushions there. What do you think about these placemats here? Aw, oh, don't go. Who's going? You're going to leave, you luminant only? Eva, I do have some luminant. I was just about to tell you. So this right here is a placement and I'm placemat and I'm going to knit these and luminant it. And um, we are going to knit the, and actually I was going to ask you guys today. Um, so this is going to be knit and um, I'm supposed to be doing a video on it. I'm releasing it this week and I have a choice. I can, oh, looks like she went already. <laughs> I saw the number go down. Um, so, um, so I have a choice. I can do two in one video or I can do two different videos. And I don't know, I might, if I get a mix a variety, I might actually just do a combo video and then break them off into separate. But um, I started shooting it like it was one big um, one big video and it just means I would put the, the needle stuff first and then the, um, the loom stuff second, um, just, just because of the nature of, um, I'm supposed to do the needle thing. <laughs> so I was like, but I want to put the loom in here too. So I like it because then maybe people who needle knit and they're like, oh, well, I'm kind of curious. How does this keep work? How does this work? So we'll see. Um, cause it says two different videos. Um, Okay. Yeah, y'all vote. Do you like two in one? Do you like them separate? Do you think it would be nice to have a two in one and separate videos? Um, yeah, tell me. Um, I I really want to know. So anyway, we're gonna do this placemat here. Um, I really like it. This is a sample of it here. Um, it's like nice and squishy and pillowy, and um, and it's terrible lighting right now. I'm only doing. I have the lighting really low so I can look at this here. So I'll show you the sample in just a minute. Um, okay, so I'm going to flip, let's go to the next one, seat cushion, look at the knit seat cushion, see she missed it all, <laughs> I can't help how they lay out the lookbook, so this is the Bernat uh, Maker Home Deck in Aqua and Cream, and this is your seat cushion here, isn't that cute, and then you even make these little ties on it, and then tie it into your chair, and this is, um, uh, it's like a it's like a lightweight cushion, and then you um, you can put in you can slip in your old cushion inside it. You know, I would wash it first and slip in your old cushion, or you can go purchase a new one to to, to stick inside. And you make the front, and you make the back, and you sew up the sides. And so, if you need it wider, um, you can certainly do that. Um, uh, if you need it longer, you can certainly do that with this pattern. And um, I will talk about how to do that. Um, we're also working with color stranding, and um, so I'm going to do that. So this will be a pattern later on this month, and this will be featured on the Yarn Inspirations um, website. I'll be blogging on it, and also the video will be on their channel for a while, and then I'll end up having it on mine later. Um, trying to find this picture here. Oh my gosh, look at these two. So this is some more stuff here, and this kind of shows you. Here's the um, cushion off in the corner, and then look at these ones. These are crocheted, and then this is crocheted. Um, we'll get into some more knit stuff here in a second. Let me flip. Do, 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 do. And one more time. There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, look how fun this is. Look at this little party setting. 
<coughs> excuse me. Now look what they've done. They made this little pennant with like these triangle granny squares and little pom-poms on them. I mean, my goodness, y'all, I'm so bad. I'm not even focused on the patterns and I'm looking at this little pendant. I mean, look at this. Isn't that adorable? What a cute use of it. <clears throat> I love it. And so they've grabbed the accent color from the inside and put it as the pom-pom. And then you could just add this all to a chain or you could slip it on. It's so cool. It's so cool. You could even do those boy stitch markers and like let them see where's that stitch marker these little stitch marker sets and then you could slide them on and off you know these guys that we went over these little shaped you know and then let it slide on the um on the line pretty cool uh, you could put <laughs> you, you could do this on your clothing line and like separate and be like okay between here and here is johnny's and he's green and here and here is sally's and she's blue <laughs> so <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. All right, now look at these pillows. I am not doing these pillows. I'm sure that uh, Mikey is probably going to do them, but aren't those adorable? I mean, really. Aren't those adorable? Um, and then this little cushion I'm going to be making. Now, I know it's simple, y'all, but man, I was at knitting and crocheting now. <laughs> I chose some simpler projects for this this month and I've got some other ones coming along for you and let me just tell you I'll be knitting in the round soon I've had some requests and so I picked out a yarn inspirations um, <clears throat> line and pattern that I think you guys are really gonna love in fact I've shown it to you before and everybody was like "Ooh, I want to do it here we go here's a better picture of that look how they've used the opposite color so this looks like my little eyeball here with my blue eyes and then Okay, that's when I don't get enough sleep. <laughs> They're really cute, though. Um, okay, let's... I am so... I'm such in a weird mood today. Okay, let me just zoom out. Yep, like I said, I'm going to zoom out. <laughs> Come on. iPad, work. <laughs> work. Oh, good gravy. It is not working. Okay. Full circle crochet pillow. That's the name of it. Okay. I'm going to just get, now that it's zoomed in, this is the Bernat Super Value Peacock uh, Dark something, Dark Heather and Pumpkin. Now you get it all zoomed in and I don't, oh, come on. Come on. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Full moon tonight. Yeah, that must, I must be feeling the pull of the moon. <laughs> oh, good gravy. That is funny. Okay. Okay, I gotta take a sip. Hold on. Mm. I'm having my breakfast to the side here. Okay, let's flip. And that's an intermediate pattern. Yay! Look at this one. Crazy Corners Knit Pillow. This is in Karen Simply Soft and Gray Heather Ocean and Sun uh, Sunshine. And I will tell you, this photograph's a little darker. This um, this yarn is actually a little bit brighter than what you see. It's it's closer to this one than it is this one. So like it looks a little dark in this picture. But look at this knit pillow. Isn't that nice? It's a mitered pillow. So that's the new one. I like that little pop color pop. It's kind of unique, right? And so that falls actually in the easy category. Okay, and then here we go. Yay! Crochet Boho. Look at these. So this is the Boho Bunting. And I'll show you the colors that they're using because I love them. This is Karen Simply Soft in Pagoda um, Robin's Egg. Burgundy, Plum Wine, Dark Sage, Chartreuse, Pumpkin, Sunshine, and Taupe. And so this bunting here, I, I call them pennants, but anyway, yes, it's bunting. And so look how, how they've got the color pop. So whatever's on the inside of this triangle here, they're doing that on the pom-pom. I love it. It's so simple and clever, right? So you can get the pattern. It's an easy pattern. Just click on it, and you'll go there. And also all the pattern links are in the back if you did, if it's not clicking for you, all the pattern links are in the back. And then, of course, you can search for them by that name. They're giving you the actual name of the pattern. Stop it. Oh. 
Okay. Um, let's see if it'll flip. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, here we go. Cro uh, round in circles, crochet wall hanging. So this one is just, just a hanging for fun. Kind of like back to the macrame days, except not macrame. It's just like throwing crochet up on the wall. And then they're connecting um, these these here. So they're using the Bernat Super Value and Mushroom, Redwood, Heather, and uh, Teal Heather. So if you're making one for, um, uh, for um, Independence Day or if you're making it to celebrate uh, Canada or you want to do something like for your party at your... Um, at your for your country you know like they're very patriotic you can make your own little wall hanging um make your own family flag even um so that's kind of fun um you can even like do a um a scarf out of this or a shawl i had done one time and i never ended up finishing it but i had made little hearts and i was connecting them for a scarf and so this kind of shows how you could do that you can even just do two lines of it and so it's just freely barely touching here so that's pretty cool, and it'll show you how to do that. And then you've got your tassels. You could use that tassel maker if you got one. Oh, stop. Okay, and then they're showing it with the little accents on the wall. So they're actually putting it outside. Okay, see if I can flip from this page. Nope. Having technology troubles. Come on, technology. There we go. Okay. The yarns. Okay, so this is the yarns. We've got the um, Fentex Slipper and Craft Yarn over here, the Bernat Maker Home Deck, um, the Lily Sugar and Cream, the Karen Simply Soft. Uh, anyway, Vibrant Mix. This is kind of the mix of what they're going for in their patio design with like a background of grays. And then this cute um, deal here. What is the deal? Bring out the cheer, the shades. Oh, okay. Bring out the color in your flower pots with cheerful blend of brights and neutrals. So that's kind of the color palette that they're going for here. Okay. Come on, Kristen. Okay. So back in the back, just so you know how to, how to work it. So this is the pattern information. So everything we went over is in the back and it gives like the overall and what you need. And so I don't need to go through all this to tell you, but this is also where you go and download the pattern. So it has them in like an overview, like, okay, what did I see in this book? And so you just flip to the back and it starts showing you, you see that? So anyway, um, that is that. And then I will be working on the, um, I'll be working on the crochet outdoor. Uh, no, 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 hang on, I'm not doing crochet. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'll be doing the knit seat cushion and I'll be doing the easy, stop it, the easy life um, knit placemats. I'm doing these two and, um, and I'll be working on this on the loom and on needles. I'll probably do this on the loom and needles as well. I've already converted and figured out which one this one is. I've already started knitting this sample up. So I've knit, I've done this one. I've already filmed this one, but I need to decide. Um, right now if I'm going to um, let me flip the camera <laughs> so I need to decide uh, if I'm gonna have it as one big video or if I'm gonna bust it up into two videos I, I kind of did I filmed it like I was gonna have them together <laughs> so I have to go back and see your responses um, I'm gonna go back and see what you guys said you do the macrame wall hangers cool cool I, you know I think that the maker um, this Maker Home Deck would be a really good macrame. It's soft, but it because it's got the um, it's got the cotton in it and nylon. I think it'd be a really good one for macrame. In fact, I think they've shown it that way. Um, they were at CHA Craft Hobby Association and doing a demo using that for macrame. And uh, actually, I want to teach that to my kids this summer. They've never done it before, so I figured that would be a good summer one and get some beads and. Um, yeah, I think it'd be fun. Uh, kids' rooms, yeah, the bunting is super fun. That could be cute in kids' rooms uh, in their uh, de decor colors. That's a great idea, Robin. A table runner. You love the table runner idea? 
<laughs> hey, this is my tablet is playing with me. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. <sighs> You can't find the, the Pom Pom Maker Casid. Okay, it's at Walmart now. And um, and I have, a, it, you should be able to get it if you can get Walmart and buy online. Because I specifically was looking for Walmart because I figured it would be at most places. Um, I had, When I had advertised it, I was like, oh, it's this price. But, of course, the price changes on me. So the price fluctuates. So I can't ever promise whatever price that was at the time that I had told everybody. But I went ahead and I think in one of my posts I took the number, the price off. And I just said, well, here's the link. So um, I wish it would always be on sale. But that's just not always the case. Um, Robin says she, like, she likes the bunting better than the pom-pom and tassels. But the pom-pom and tassels will be quicker. Yeah, that would be really quick for a party, like a last minute kind of party thing. Um, yeah, get you some uh, some quickie stuff. <laughs> Actually, yeah, and you could kind of pre-make them and uh, <laughs> like, or as you make, you could make. You know what? If you wanted a thing to use up your extra um, your extra scraps, and um, you know, you could just kind of slowly make those and add them to a line. And then, if you want to use them for a party or a project, then you would already like have it ready. <laughs> so that would be a good way to use it. Um, making pom poms and tassels. <laughs> um, Robin, yeah, maybe do a string with pom poms and a string with tassels. Oh, yeah, that's cool too. Of course, if you made them and have cats, you'd need to watch out. <laughs> Um, yeah, you, you might, or, or put them above a scratching post and then tie some uh, catnip and see what they do. <laughs> uh, but let's see. Uh, Adis is thinking about doing a macrame, um, lampshade. Well, that's cool. Um, Joanne's has the pom-pom maker. Oh yeah. And, um, Joanne with Good and Kisses, she saw it in stores, um, the pom-pom maker. And in fact, she saw the, um, Stitch markers, but there was one versus the other. I think this is the one that she saw, the stitch markers. Um, if you missed it, I did like a live um, unboxing of several things from Boy. And so these stitch markers are what she saw. And I don't think she saw these. I think these are just, um, these are just at um, um, Walmart. So, and some of them, like the stitch markers, I could not find buying them online. So... If they ever come available and you guys see them, let me know and then I'll let everybody else know the link because I'm not going to sit around looking for them every day. But if you happen to find them, let me know and I will let people know. Um, so yeah, Ellie says you might want to do Walmart buy online pickup and store. Um, not all Wally World stock good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember when I started doing this, like the, the yarn aisle was super huge at Walmart and, um, and it was like, Five or six, like it was several. And then um, within a few years, it dwindled down to like two. And now it's like one and not even like on both sides. It's just one. So not cool. Oh, Joanne, thanks for the link. Yeah, she's got the link for the pom-pom tassel maker. Uh, okay, had the round stitch markers, she says. She's confirming. Good morning, Mickey. How are you? I haven't seen you in a while. Um, did I miss anything? Okay, so I think I've asked you guys before, and you probably answered me, and I can go back and look. But um, let's do like a um, emoji battle here. Let's see. What can we do for the emoji battle? Put in, or you can put it in the typing emojis. Um, if you want to see, um, oh, okay, so here it is. So this is a placemat sample, and this was on needles, and then this is a placemat sample on the loom. Um, it's, uh, you have to make more rows on the loom, um, or at least the way I was doing it. Um, but the sizing came out the same. Like, my stitches came out, well, similar. They're similar. Um, I used a 3 8 small gauge loom, the all-in-one loom. Uh, however... The needle size told me that it was going to be a 5 8 large gauge, a 5 8 large gauge. And when I did it, I made it on the Nifty Knitter, and it's really loose. 
see this? It's really loose and it's wider than the needle. So the gauge is off. Um, I wouldn't want it like this unless I was making a blanket, which is kind of cute, um, but it's not necessary. Um, so I wouldn't use this one unless you are a really tight knitter. Um, and then, yeah, you could use it. You could use a half inch, which is good because it gives you kind of a variety. So if you're like, well, I have a bunch of Cindy Wood looms that are half inch. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> you could use that. Excuse me. <clears throat> But I used my all-in-one loom from Knitting Board. Let me show you. I used this one, um, and it's got plenty of um, it's got plenty of pegs for for the need. Um, okay, so let's do an emoji battle. Do you want to see me use them both together? Put a love both in the same video, and it'll have information. So when you start looking at the video, you're like, okay, I know that she's going to, I'm going to feel comforted. I'm going to know that she's going to talk about needles and she's going to talk about loom. And that way, if I want to go back and forth or I want to try one or the other, I can do both. Um, or no, I want to see a loom video. So that would be love. If you want to just see a loom video, hit the like button by itself. Um, if you think having um three different videos, one combo, and then the two separate ones would be awesome, awesome. Do the like the ha 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 laughing emoji. Okay. So love for the combo. Yeah. <laughs> Put a timestamp. Yeah, because I could do just loom and just needle. Um, but I kind of want to do the combo. I kind of want to do the combo, and that's it. <laughs> hearts one. Ada says hearts one. They look identical except size. Yeah, they look the same. The only difference I would say in the loom, um, and you know, when I tend to talk too much on my videos, so I'm going to tell you a little bit more here. Um, I like the needle one better. But I think I was just, I was just being really tight with my stitches. So like, it's more pillowy. It's more pillowy on here. I like this as far as if I was going to make a blanket or something squishy. But actually for a table, uh, I mean a placemat, this is nice because I kind of did the stitches so tight. Because it, it is a bulky five and it's not technically supposed to be on that particular loom. But um, it's more dense. And so that's perfect for a placemat. Um, so yeah, I mean... This is the same amount. The reason why I made it shorter is this is the same amount of a rose as the other. So this one has, um, it's probably a good eight rows um, difference. Like I would have to knit eight more rows on this to get this the same length. So while you have to knit longer, um, I think it comes out pretty good. Yeah. The width is off just a hair it's really it's really negligible and you can make them whatever size you want um, you could decide hey this is not coming out the way I want so um, and then add add stuff so timestamps are great <laughs> oh gosh it's hard to uh, I, I you mean timestamps in my description for the video um, now, in the description below, I can say, go to minute da da da, da for the loom, but it's kind of hard when I'm planning the video. I, I'm not a production studio, and so it's, I kind of do it to my ability, and so if I'm making timestamps and I'm like, jump to second, da 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 da, I'm not going to know that when I'm, when I'm editing. I just film it and then put it all together in post-production. I'm not, I'm not, I could edit, but I'm not that good. But putting it in a, but putting it in the description below is easier. Okay, timestamps in the description. Do what works best for you. Combo is fine, as long as it's not super long. <laughs> I can be concise and do both. Okay. 
I'll see if I can figure out how to shorten my needle one. I started just like working through my 18 stitches and just not even stopping and saying, okay, pause and come back and pause and come back. So let me work on it. I have today that I've got to edit and get this thing done. So anyway, um, that's it. Okay, so coming up, uh, let me kind of uh, close up here. So we've got the placemat stuff coming out this Friday, whether or not that's a combo video or separate ones, either way come out Friday. Um, next week we will have a, um, a video come out on Friday as well. That will be one of my Facebook live tutorial things and we're going to decide which one that's going to be. And then the week after you will see the cushion and then that will go up on the Yarnspirations website and a blog. And of course every Monday and Wednesday I'm going to be live on Facebook telling you guys all about everything that's going on on uh, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time and 10 uh, 10 Eastern. Um, what else? What else? In June, I've already got um, some things kind of in the lineup. I've got a hat that's going to happen this summer. Um, I may do those mason jars, um, but I think Mikey or um, no, Your Inspirations team is going to make a video on how to do them, although I'd like to make one myself. So that might actually happen that where I make it as well, but it's not going to happen this month. It'll probably be sometime this summer. So if you want to see my version of it, I'll do that. I hope you like the mason jar idea for Mother's Day. Did you guys like that? Be sure and uh, hit the love button if you like that. Um, yeah, so, oh, cool, Robin, I'm glad you're looking forward to the placement placemat video. And also, um, if you have people who, and, and really, the placemat thing is pretty pretty simple and basic. If you have a new loom knitter, someone who's either never tried, um, or even a, a new needle knitter um, who's never tried before, either one, um, I'm going to, um, I'm going to go slow, and um, I'm going to uh, let you know how to, um, how to uh, work these stitches and um, especially like for needles. So if you really want to try it, um, I'm, I'm assuming that you don't know anything about it. You never read a pattern before and I kind of go through it that way um, because it falls in the beginner category and uh, this is a basic stitch that we all should know. Um, they call it something else in here, but um, I let you know what both names are like I like to use. I like to do that. So anyway, you guys have a wonderful Mother's Day. I'm so glad you're here um, joining me. Whoops, I will see you later on um, Friday, obviously, with the video coming out, and then catch you Monday. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Love to you all. Have a great day, and happy knitting and crochet. Bye.